Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we would learn how to solve the practice problem palindromic array. Okay, so first we would understand the question and then we would solve it. So let's start. Basically, in this question, we need to check if the all the elements of a given array is palindromic or not. Okay, now before you know moving towards the explanation of the question, let's understand what is palindrome. Okay, so for understanding it, let's take an example that is madam. Okay. Now, if you read madam from the beginning or if you read madam from the reverse order, you can see that the word remains same, right? It remains madam itself. These kind of words are known as palindromic words, okay? I hope this is clear to you what is the meaning of palindrome. Now, basically, we are given an array and we need to check if each and every element of the given array is palindromic or not. Okay, if all the elements in the given array are palindromic, that means it is a palindromic array. But even if one element is not palindrome, then it is not a palindromic array. Okay, I hope the question is clear to you. One minute, so it is 111, 222-333 and let's say 444. Four, four. Okay, now see for the first element, this one, I know that this is a palindromic element, right? Even if I start from the beginning or from the reverse order, it remains the same. Now, let's check for this one. Again, this is palindromic. This is also palindromic. This is also palindromic. See, all the elements of this array are palindromic, right? So, this means that this given array is a palindromic array. Okay. Now, let's take an example. Let's for, for example, this element is this. Okay. Now, when I check if this is palindromic or not, this element is not palindromic, okay? Now, because only one element is not palindromic, then this given array is also not palindromic. I hope the concept is clear to you, okay? Now, let's move forward. So, basically for solving this question, we would be applying the slicing method, okay? Now, remember slicing method is applied on strings. So, I would be doing the type conversion, okay? I would be converting the integer element to a string value, then applying the slicing method on it to check, you know, if it is palindromic or not. And if the given element is palindromic, then I would increase the value of count, okay? That means first element is palindromic, then second. So, like this, I would be traversing the entire array, okay? I hope the concept is clear to you. Now, let's move forward to the solution part. Okay, what you need to do is you need to go to practice portal. In practice portal in the filter section, you need to choose difficulty as school. Okay, after that you need to find the problem palindromic array. Once you find the problem, you need to click on solve. Okay, now let's solve the problem. Let's read the question first. Given an integer array, okay, of n elements, your task is to complete the function palin array which will return 1 if all the elements of the array are palindrome, otherwise it will return 0. Okay, I hope the question is clear to you and we would be coding the question over here. Okay, so let's start, let's complete the question. Okay, first I am taking a count, okay, count initially is 0 because in the start I don't know if any element is palindromic or not, okay. So that is why the value of count is 0. Now I need to apply a for loop to traverse the entire array. Right. So, it is from 0 to all the elements. Right. Okay. Next, I need to do the type conversion. Right. Like I mentioned. Array and all the particular element. Okay. This is type conversion. I am converting the particular element on which, you know, we are at that moment to string. Okay. So, that I can apply the slicing method. Okay. Next is if str a array i okay if this is equal equal to what a and over here i am doing the slicing okay this is the slicing method okay let's move forward if this is true that means it is palindromic okay and if it is palindromic then i need to increase the value of count by one okay so it would be count plus equal to one now, this is if that particular element is, you know, palindromic, okay? Now, let's move forward and let's see. 
See, basically in the given array, there might be three elements which are palindromic and two elements which are not palindromic, right? But in a palindromic array, all the elements should be palindromic, right? So for that, what I would do is, I need to check if the count value is equal to the total number of elements, okay? If the count is equal to total number of elements, that means all the elements are palindromic, okay? So that is the next if condition, okay? If count equal equal to n then what then i need to return with one okay else else if this is not true then i need to return with zero okay one minute return with zero okay now i need to check if this solution is correct or not so i would click on compile and run one minute let's wait the compilation is completed. My output is matching with the expected output. So now I would submit the given problem. Let's wait. The problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem palindromic array. I hope this video was helpful for you and you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel. And thank you for joining me today. Thank you.